Hey there guys, it's Steven here again. And today I'm gonna show you guys another Pokemon battle. This is one of our earlier battles, so you'll see a lot of uh, stupid moves and stuff like that. We're s we were still getting used to uh, to this new game back then, and we're still trying uh, tons of things out. And I just want to talk to you quickly about uh, something else that's extremely useful in this game if you're planning on raising Pokemon, which is Wonder Trade. And Wonder Train, what it does is basically you trade a random Pokemon and you receive a random Pokemon and you can do that at any time in the day, at any point, you just need a Wi-Fi connection, of course. And it's useful for a lot of things. For once, it, it's uh, extremely... Uh, it lets you get Pokemon that you can't get in your version. And because it also lets you get the starters because at, at this point right now, if you Wonder Train, chances are you'll get Bulbasaur's, Charmander's, Squirtle's, Fennekin's and stuff like that because people are breeding them now and whatever they, they uh, breed that they don't want they just want to trade them to get new Pokemon but the best reason for me to use them is to get rare candies what a rare candy does is basically it makes your Pokemon level up one level and it does it instantly so it's a lot quicker when your Pokemon say is level 70 or 80 or even 90 it takes a lot of time and uh, training to level level them once so using uh, wonder trade every time you use wonder train you get pokemons and depending on your place in the world like me I'm in Canada let's say I want to train against somebody in Japan or Germany or Australia I'll get tons and tons of pokemons so what you do after that is that you connect your game to your the pokemon global link website and you go on that site and you exchange your Poké Miles for Rare Candies. Basically every thousand miles gives you four rare, rare Candies and that can add up extremely quickly. I currently have over 30 Rare Candies and it's I, I, I do that all the time and I find that it level ups uh, very, very fast because most of my folks I don't even bring to level 100 uh, by training them anymore. I just bring them to about 60 or 70 sometimes even 50 and I just use rare candies to put them to a level 100 and it saves me a tremendous amount of time and the best time I found to uh, wonder trade is around 9am, 9, 9 10am, 8am in the morning because that's when you get uh, basically 50% of the time you'll get some someone from Japan or someone from uh, the eastern continent basically I guess because uh, because of the time zone here most people are either in school or working or still in bed when they're they're up and it's like the time difference means that they're playing more the more chances that people are playing from those countries so you you get a lot more uh, poke miles that way so that's just a small tip guys if you want to uh, find a way to level up your Pokemon uh, quickly I find it very useful so here he got a burn on my Tarnatar, which actually, in my opinion, changes the uh, battle. I'm pretty sure I could have uh, I could have won with that, but since I'm burned now, as you can see, my Brick Break will do nothing to his Greninja, while in normal situations it would have almost KO'd him. So that will uh, really affect me. And my Venusaur here, I don't really use them much anymore. The only time he's even half useful is when I Mega Evolve him. Besides that. I really didn't EV train one uh, well since he doesn't have any speed at all so he never attacks first so he's really not that useful and most of our battles me and Stefan actually end up I'd say 80% of the time as a one versus one at the end we they're always so tight there that just one crit here or one burn there can really affect the outcome of a match for either one of us so that's Pokemon, it's pretty fun because most matches are always uh, right uh, close right down to the finish line so and there we're, we're gonna be one versus one is gonna bring us Charizard and I still have a chance here believe it or not because I'm gonna do a King Shill pre predicting a an attack move which will harshly uh, reduce his attack stat 
But what I did not know at the time was that he was also carrying a uh, flamethrower. So that's pretty rare to see uh, an attack move and a special move on a simple command. If he wouldn't have carried flamethrower, he probably would have managed to win this by just the toxic damage and using King Shield and I can survive a, a flare bits because his attack drop and my Pokemon has pretty outstanding defense. But that wasn't the case so that was a good match and I hope you enjoyed the video.